Hello everyone! So today I thought we could do a little haul of what's new in my wardrobe because I got quite a few things in the last few weeks. I love fall fashion and I think it's the best season to create super cute layered looks so I couldn't resist getting a few things myself this year. Some of these items are actually PR things I got to be fully transparent but most of them I bought with my own money. There is no doubt I am absolutely in love with all the pieces I'm gonna show you and all of these pieces will be linked in the description box if you want to check them out and without further ado, let's get started. So let's start with tops with my favorite favorite items. This boucle jacket I found at Zara. I was looking for a classic jacket like this for quite a while now, but every time I saw one in store, I was always like, oh, there's something about it, quite not right, quite not what I'm looking for. But when I saw this one, I was like, okay, this is exactly what I was looking for. The gold button details are just stunning, and the texture is super nice. It's soft but at the same time super structured and it's lined in the inside. I don't know if you can see properly on camera but it's quite thick to be honest so it's gonna keep you warm for temperature like right now sort of like 10 degrees you know. A jacket like this is just a classic that will elevate any of your outfit and honestly it matches pretty much anything like just right now, throwing on, you can see that I instantly look more elegant and more chic. It's pretty much true to size. I took a small, which is my usual side, and I'm super comfortable in it. Like I said, I love that it's like kind of flowy, like I'm super comfortable in it, but yet it's super structured, so it makes you feel classy. I think a boucle jacket is a must in anyone's wardrobe if you want to look classy and elegant for every day, and this one I highly highly recommend. They also had it in like an off-white beige color, and I was really hesitating to get both, but I decided to be reasonable and just get the black one because I didn't have any in my wardrobe, so I stick with the classic one. And it goes with so many things, like right now I have a skirt, but you can totally wear it with jeans, trousers, dresses anything you want really. I just got this in the last weeks and I already wore it a ton. It's already all over my Instagram page. So yeah, I wanted to start with this one because it's absolutely my favorite piece. Next up I wanted to show you is this striped cardigan that I absolutely adore too that I got when I was in Italy in September. I think that this is also a forever classic piece that you need. It will never go out of style and it can go with so many things too. This fall I was really looking into classics I was missing in my wardrobe like this one and the boucle jacket because I realized that I have a lot of clothes but at the same time I'm just missing a lot of classics like this so I really wanted to invest in those. I particularly like the gold buttons this cardigan has like look at the details in them and I love that it's not like a super yellow gold, but more like of a subtle tone, so it's not like super flashy. Let's put it on to show you. Like I said, I got this cardigan in Italy in a store called Reserve, and unfortunately we don't have this one here in Canada, and I don't think we have it in the US either, but this is kind of a classic that you can find anywhere, like H&M has a lot of those, so I will try to find you the exact link of this cardigan, but also find you something similar in the same vibe more accessible here. Once again, it's super comfy. I wouldn't say it's like the softest to be honest. It's more like a rougher material, but still I can move easily in it, but yet it remains structured and well polished. I love pieces like this because in my book it's like a win-win. And what's super cool with cardigans like this is you can wear it open like this over like a black or white top but also you can just button the whole thing and it becomes basically a sweater. So here it is all buttoned up. I feel like it gives a totally different vibe even though it's the same exact cardigan. I don't know why, but I really like need this one too. All in all, striped cardigan like this, an absolute must too. You can easily dress it up, dress it down, and it matches everything. So it's a perfect piece for fall. Next we have another cardigan, this one from Cezanne, and I love it. I know I'm saying this about everything, but that's why I'm showing you these pieces because I'm just in love with all of them. But look at this one, the beige color with the black trims, it's just it's 
cream classy and old money. I just love it. And this one is actually really soft. It's made of 100% merino wool, so it's gonna keep you very warm during fall and even during winter. For sure, Cezanne has a higher price tag, but everything made of merino wool is expensive. The quality, though, is just undeniable and every time i wear this one i just feel like in the cloud it's so soft and comfy and look at this style like i'm just obsessed contrast trims like this will just instantly give you that old muddy vibe without even trying i got my usual size so a small and i think it fits pretty nicely I mean, it's not too oversized, but it's not too tight at the same time. I could easily attach the buttons too, but for this one, I must admit, I like it a lot better with the buttons open. And FYI, these are actually real pockets. So all in all, I really love merino wool pieces for winter and fall, and this one is so chic, so it's really the best of both worlds. That's why I wanted to give it a special shout out. Last but not least for the tops, we have another Cezanne sweater, and this one in the color of the season, burgundy. And this piece is actually kind of like a mix between a blouse and a sweater. It's also made of merino wool so it's super soft and even though it's quite thin and has actually like little holes in it it's very warm i wore it one day thinking that i was gonna be like okay it was because it was kind of a warm day but it was way too hot and i really love the color details and the sleeves look at the little buttons and the little ruffle like the color so yeah, let me put it on and I'm gonna show you. So there you go, look at it, it's so chic and really like the color of the season. So I couldn't resist when I saw this one on the website. Like I said, it's more like a blouse sweater, so you have to wear it buttoned up. On the website, the model like wore it with two button detached. I just prefer with all the buttons up because you can see the super nice color that way. I must admit though that even if I really love this sweater, it's definitely not my favorite of all the bunch I showed you but I still wanted to give it a shout out because it's a classic that's actually really trendy right now. So next let's go to bottoms and yes I got a pair of skinny jeans. Skinny jeans are kind of making like a comeback a little bit since last year we're seeing them a lot more now but maybe not the style that I used to wear when I was a teen like the jeggings you know like super super skinny we kind of see like a more slim cut like this that's like a middle ground between super skinny jeans and straight leg jeans this pair of jeans is also from Cezanne it's the first time I'm not trying one of their bottoms I must admit I have a lot of their top sweaters even a pair of shoes but I never tried their jeans so when I saw this one I was like why not I really really love that like indigo blue color i think it's just a classic and for fall and winter darker jeans like this are really nice it's made of cotton so the material feels really nice and soft but at the same time it still feels like actual denim you know i just hate jeans that are like you know super soft and stretchy like it was trendy at one point that maybe it's gonna be trendy again <laughs> someday but right now i'm just loving that denim feeling so once again i love that these jeans are like a perfect in between so there you go these are the jeans on and i'm gonna insert a clip where you can see all of it actually but they feel pretty nice i got a size 36 which is like my usual size i don't even know what my usual size is in jeans anymore because brands and even like from piece to piece in the same store varies so much. I am in between like a size 26, 27, or 2, 4. Uh, this one is 34. So at this point, I'm just like guessing. But these ones are pretty nice. Like they're a little bit snug. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure that the bigger size would have been too big. So I didn't have a choice. I'm often in between sizes. And I really love that on the thigh it's snug, but on the calves and ankle, you still have a little room to breathe. And these jeans are actually supposed to be cropped, technically, but because I'm 5'4", well, they are just the perfect length for me for regular jeans. <laughs> and I really wanted a 
pair of skinny herb jeans because I love loafers and like slingbacks and Mary Janes and ballet flats with jeans like this rather than baggier jeans. It just gives an overall more polished look. So if you watch until now and if you are thinking of buying skinny jeans, let me know in the comments to see if I convince you. So next kind of bottom I wanted to show you are these line tights I just got from Shein for super cheap. Line tights became really popular like two years ago I think or even more, maybe three. But basically they are tights that are a little bit more thick but inside it's a double with like a beigey nude color so when you wear them it's as if you were wearing sheer tights. I love these because it's the perfect solution to not freeze to death during fall but still look cute in all these skirt outfits. And as you can see here I got two pairs, a brown one and a black one because I saw girls on Instagram and TikTok wearing brown tights and I really love the look. It made me realize that with black tights sometimes you have like a more grayish hue to your legs but with brown tights it appears kind of more natural. I don't know how to explain it but I will wear both and show you side by side and you'll know what I mean. So there you have it side by side. You can instantly and clearly see the difference. I honestly love both looks. I think they give totally different vibes depending on the outfit and the style you're going for. So that's why I took both. But what do you think? Do you have a preference? Black or brown? So now let's continue with shoes and accessories. I went all out with boots this year because I realized I didn't have like any good classic boots. So one day I went shopping and bought three pairs. <laughs> They're all from Steve Madden and I swear it's not sponsored by them but I just love this brand and their shoes. I think they offer a wide variety of shoes that are classic but also trendy and pretty good quality for the price. Like all the boots I'm gonna show you were all around a hundred dollars. First pair are these classic knee-high boots with a block heel. Can you imagine I didn't have a pair of boots like this in my wardrobe? Me neither, that's why I had to get a pair ASAP. These were $110, so obviously it's not real leather, it's synthetic, but I think they still look pretty good. They don't feel like super cheap and I love the block heel, it's really comfy to walk in. The heel is not too high, but still high enough to give that chic, elegant vibe. And I also love the square toes. I usually wear the size 6.5, but I got a size 7 because I know during winter and fall, I often wear thick socks, so I wanted to be sure to have enough room to be comfortable. Honestly, for the price, I highly recommend them. And I actually had a hard time finding like classic boots like this. Surprisingly, all the store I went to only offered like super trendy stuff and I was like, I just want a classic pair of knee-high boots that I'd be able to match with all my outfits. So when I saw them and that they were only 110, I took them immediately. Okay, and next pair of boots is actually kind of the same thing as the knee-high one, but in the ankle version. This one I actually saw at the bay, but it's still the Steve Madden brand. I just bought it in another store, but I also really needed ankle boots like these because the only boots I currently had were like, um, combat boots and also black ankle boots, but they were more like um, I don't know how to say it, more trendy. It's not like a classic like this. It was like a big squared heels with like a squared toe, giving more like 90s vibe when it started to be trendy like two years ago. And my style kind of changed in the last year. I'm going for a more classic and elegant style now, so I really needed a pair like this. So these one I think were also 110 regular price, but they were on sale at the bay for $80. So once again, when I saw them, I was like, I'm taking you home. Okay, and last pair of boots from Steve Madden, I swear are these Chelsea boots. Chelsea boots are also a forever classic that will never go out of style and will match with all your outfits, so I really needed a pair. I actually already had Chelsea boots, but they were years old. I don't even remember when I bought them. Like, honestly, it was pre-pandemic, so <laughs> it can give you an idea 
<laughs> it was time to put them to rest. I love the kind of short heel it has. Like honestly, when you're walking them, you don't even feel them. But it really makes a difference when you wear long pants or trousers because it gives you a more chic vibe. And I love that it's kind of like a rounded pointed toe. I think this is also a classic. You can't go wrong with it. So I will be able to keep them for another five years maybe. These one compared to the others are a little bit more snug in the front because I have kind of wider feet. So I feel that they are a little bit more tight, but I guess that with time and the more I walk in them, it's gonna loosen up. Okay, so now enough with the boots, but I still have a last pair of shoes to show you. They're these slingback shoes. And yeah, if you guess, I love black shoes. These ones are from Call It Spring. And I actually got them with this little purse too. I thought they made like a really good match together. I just love this little purse with the metal detail on the strap here. I feel like both of them are so elegant. I didn't have a pair of classic black slingback like this with a square toe and I really wanted one, especially for the office. I think they're so nice with like trousers and all your office looks. So that's why I got them. Call It Spring make a vegan leather and it's honestly super nice. I don't know if you can see like the texture, but it really looks real <laughs> like it doesn't look cheap at all i was uh, really impressed by it and they're actually super comfy to walk in they have like a kind of cushion everywhere on the sole so yeah i never had to break them in they were instantly comfy i love college spring because they have a wide variety of shoe styles and boots and everything you need at an affordable price so if you didn't know this brand, definitely go check them out okay so last but not least we are ending this video with coats and I'm gonna start with this trench coat I just found at Mango. It's honestly the trench coat I've been looking for for years and years. I am beyond obsessed. Like this light beigey color and the cut, the structure, the fact that it's water repellent, it's honestly everything I was looking for. It was a little bit expensive, like 199 but lately Mango had like a fall sale and everything in store was 40% off so I jumped on this one. I love that it's kind of like flowy if you see it but at the same time when you wear it it gives like a super structured look so you look super elegant and I must admit I already had a trench but the color was like kind of so-so because it was more like a, a khaki pulling on the green tones and it really doesn't match well with my skin tone so I was really looking for one that was more like a light beige off-white you know and it was actually very hard to find so that's why when I saw this one at Mango I jumped on the occasion and honestly the quality feels amazing it's double lined in the inside so that's pretty nice too and it doesn't wrinkle like that easily for sure i steamed it for first time but as you can see i wore it like a couple of times and still looks pretty good even with the belt so yeah all in all i'm very satisfied with this coat and i'm so happy i found it i also love the length it comes almost at my ankles so when i wear it with like heel boots it looks super chic okay and now a last coat and last item of this haul actually is this gray wool coat I found at Winners. It's from the brand Vevelmada. I don't think we have any stores left in Canada from them, only like resellers. I actually really liked this store before, so I was pretty sad when we didn't have them anymore. When I found this coat at Winners, I was super happy because I was looking for a long gray wool coat for quite a little while now too, and Surprisingly, once again, it's hard to find a wool coat like this, just classic and at an affordable price. It was only $100 at Winners and it's actually made of 40% wool. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. And up close, you can see that it actually has like a herringbone pattern on it. So when you see it like as a whole, it gives an even more chic and elegant vibe to the coat. So let me put it on to show you. 
This one has no belt, but is also double lined in the inside. It's actually really warm. I think I'm gonna be able to wear it during winter. For sure, not when it's like minus 40 degrees. But still, it has quite a lot of wool in it, so it's gonna keep me warm. And once again, I love the length. It's like mid-calf, so once again, with heels, it looks super nice. Definitely more on the oversized side. Like, as you can see, it's it looks pretty oversized on me and it's a small, but I like this style, so that's why I went with small, which is my usual size. But if you want something that's a little bit more form-fitted, you can size down. This is another classic that I didn't have in my wardrobe. It did have a gray coat, it wasn't made of wool, and the length was a little bit weird. It was like just above my knees, and I like coats that are a little bit longer. Even though I'm kind of on the shorter size at 5'4", Longer coats makes me look taller because when you have a coat that cuts you in the middle, it really gives the illusion that you're shorter. So longer coats are better even if you are petite. Or at the opposite, you can wear crop jackets and this will elongate your leg. So yeah, I'm really really happy with this coat and I can't wait to wear it even more because right now it was kind of warm to wear this full coat to be honest. Surprisingly warm for November, but the cooler days are coming in, I'm sure of it. So this wool coat will be welcome. So that's it for today's video and this haul. I really love all these pieces and can't wait to wear them even more during the rest of the season and winter. Speaking of winter, I think that next time I'm gonna see you is probably for Vlogmas. I'm still not sure if I'm gonna do it, but I actually really, really do love Christmas. Do quick vlogs every day in December from like December 1st to 25. Take it like as a challenge. But I was wondering if you'd be interested in that because it's a lot of work. I'd be happy to do it, but will you watch it? Are you interested? Let me know in the comments. If you want to see Vlogmas on my channel and if you have any special demands on topics I should talk about or vlog about. But in any case, thank you so much for being here and watching. I really appreciate all of you and I will see you real soon in the next video. Bye!